Huh. There's something missing. Nickelodeon has been giving us iconic cartoon characters for decades. But have you ever wondered who's behind the voices of these animated legends? Mr. Krabs, but my new philosophy is scary equals funny. You'll be surprised to find out that Hey Arnold isn't actually voiced by a football head, or that a surprising amount of male cartoons were voiced by women. Keep watching to see the people who bring your favorite Nick characters to life. Good morning, Squidward. I'll have you. This first voice actor will come as a total shock. Nickelodeon's Rugrats is one of the most successful shows of all time. It followed a bunch of toddlers in all of their grand adventures. The ringleader was Tommy Pickles. He kept a screwdriver in his diaper to bust all the Rugrats out of the playpen. Millions of millennials can still hear Tommy's scratchy voice. Oh no, he's already getting banged on. I got to save him. But he was actually voiced by a woman named Elizabeth Daly. She voiced him again in All Grown Up. Hold on your diapers for going in or. She's responsible for some other iconic characters too. Elizabeth was the voice of Buttercup in Powerpuff Girls. It's hard to believe that Tommy and Buttercup are really the same person. It's real? No way! The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius first aired in 2003. It was one of Nickelodeon's early computer animated series. James Isaac Neutron, who went by Jimmy, was a genius and inventor in the fifth grade. I should be able to use the Baby Quackers remote to control the Malibu Death Machine. He created all sorts of advanced technologies that usually ended up getting him and his friends into trouble. But Jimmy wasn't voiced by a fifth grade boy. He was voiced by a woman named Debbie Derryberry. Debbie has been voice acting for a long time. To me, all my characters, they can sound the same. It's my voice. She played Diana on both series of Sailor Moon. She even voiced the title character from JJ the Jet Plane. Recently, she was Maureen on F is for Family. Can we go there? Can we, can we, can we? Ah, uh, no. SpongeBob SquarePants is one of the longest running kids series ever. It's been on for over 20 years. The yellow, eager sponge has become a complete cultural icon. SpongeBob might be the single most recognizable cartoon character in history. You know, I never took the driver's test with long pants. But we bet you can't picture who voices them. Tom Kenny has been voicing SpongeBob since the very beginning, but that high-pitched sponge is just one of many voices. Today's the big day, Gary. Look at me. I'm naked! Tom has over 491 credits on IMDb, and some of those shows involved voicing multiple characters. His next big project is Pinocchio in The Adventures of Pinocchio. We hope Tom is willing to stick around in Bikini Bottom for a few more years. That's not just a dollar! It's Mr. Krabs' first dollar! One Crazy Animal, Two Voices. Cat Dog first aired in 1998. It followed a cat and a dog who were conjoined. They had different personalities and got into all sorts of mischief. Cat is a proper tidy animal. White fish chub. Moldy beef sub. Dog is goofy and unrefined. Cat is voiced by Jim Cummings, who is very famous in the voice acting world. He's been the voice of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger for decades. Let's get um dangerous. He has over 500 acting credits on IMDb. You've probably heard him in tons of cartoons and movies. Dog is voiced by none other than Tom Kenny. Yeah, that's right. Dog and SpongeBob are voiced by the same person. We couldn't believe it. <laughs> What's an orange doing knocking at the door, right? <laughs> Nickelodeon just doesn't make shows for older kids. They are also famous for their Nick Jr. shows for preschoolers. Dora the Explorer was on the air for 19 years. The show taught kids some Spanish and also how to follow directions. Unlike a lot of cartoons, Dora has gone through three different voice actors. The first was Kathleen Airlays, who was just 10 years old when she started. She was the longest running Dora with over 100 episodes. Is Swiper going to try to swipe the present? From 2008 to 2014, Caitlin Sanchez voiced the character cartoon. She was 12 when she started, and she appears to have left show business after Dora. The final Dora was Fatima Patachek. The actress is now 20 years old. She stars in an upcoming film called Coast. I, I identify because I felt that way about Dora when I was younger. 
Nickelodeon's The Loud House is one of their current animated series. It's a great show all about a boy living with his huge family. Lincoln Loud is a great, relatable character. The Roadhouse has been on since 2016, but Lincoln has already had three voice actors. Hey, that girl laughs just like Luann. She must be allowed, and I must belong in that family. The show has hired three boys, but at that age, their voices start to change. They keep having to find new kids to voice the lead character. First up is Colin Dean. He was on the show from 2016 until 2018. Next up is Grant Palmer. He actually voiced some episodes at the same time as Colin, but then he started voicing other characters. Most recently, Lincoln has been voiced by Tex Hammond. Want to know who's behind the voice of an even more iconic middle school boy? Oh, <laughs> keep watching to find out. Why not invite you guys to come too, as your characters from our comic? This next character wasn't on a show, but he's a Nickelodeon icon nonetheless. Tons of kids in the 1990s and early 2000s grew up watching the mascot, Nick Jr. He came on between shows as Face, and Face was literally just a face. We all remember his tagline, Hi there, Face here. So who was the voice actor behind Face? Chris Phillips first voiced the character. He is still doing voice acting, but most recently was on Butterbean's Cafe. In Faces last year, he was voiced by Bobby Floyd. You might know him as the performer of the Poke Rap from Pokemon. Here's a question. I wonder what today's little bird question will be. Rocco's Modern Life was a popular Nickelodeon cartoon that was on from 1993 to 1996. It's a strange, surrealist show about an Australian wallaby who lives in America. Let's just say a lot of the humor wouldn't have made it into today's kid shows. Those lenses are lovely. Rocco was voiced by the successful voice actor Carlos Alasrocki. He's still in the Nickelodeon family, playing Carlos on The Loud House and The Casa Grandes. He's also a regular actor and has appeared as Deputy Garcia on many episodes of Reno 911. Rocco's friend Heifer Wolf is another familiar face. You guessed it, Tom Kenny, aka SpongeBob. I can't wait to show Rocco! It's hard to pick a favorite character from the Rugrats, but Chucky would definitely be one of our top choices. Tommy's best friend has a lot of issues. They were very different, but it worked. Whereas Tommy was brave, Chucky was timid and afraid of everything. Who can forget his shaky and nasally voice? Listen, listen, I'm only two! Just like Tommy, Chucky was voiced by an adult woman. This woman's name is Christine Cavanaugh, and you won't believe where else you've heard her voice. Christine was the voice of Dexter in Dexter's Laboratory. She also voiced the world's most famous talking pig in Babe. Christine was definitely one of the most iconic voice actors of her time. Oh, beautifully done. I can't tell you how grateful I am to y'all. Nickelodeon's most famous magical couple is none other than Cosmo and Wanda. These fairies were Timmy's constant companions on the Fairy's Odd Parents. And let's just say, they weren't always the greatest at helping Timmy out. These three got into a lot of trouble. Done! Being wanted is awesome! Timmy Turner! Darren Norris voiced Cosmo on the show. He voiced Timmy's dad, Mr. Turner, too. He also does on-screen acting. You might know him as Johnny Forrest from iZombie or Cliff from Veronica Mars. Wanda and Mrs. Turner were voiced by Suzanne Blakesley. Recently, Suzanne has played Mrs. Johnson on The Loud House. She is also old Lady Crowley on Tangled the series. Well, it could be Timmy. After all, there's a pantsless dog and a floating kid. Everyone loves the grumpy, cynical co-worker of Spongebob. Squidward Tentacles is such a great character because everyone knows a person just like him. Squidward really puts up with a lot from Spongebob and Patrick. That's me. Never had one, never will. But the guy who voices him looks way less grumpy. Roger Bumpus is the voice actor behind Squidward. He's also voiced several extra characters on Spongebob as well. Roger is no stranger to Nickelodeon. He voiced Professor Membrane on Invader Zim and Biclops on Chalk Zone. Right now, he is working exclusively on Spongebob. Roger has been acting since 1979. He voiced a bunch of characters on the original series Alvin and the Chipmunks. And funny divided by two idiots equals stupid. In 2004, Nickelodeon launched a brand new animated show called Danny Phantom. Danny Fenton was a normal teenage kid until he got ghost powers. Then he became aware of all of this crazy supernatural stuff going on in his world. He became a superhero. The only thing that has an expiration date here is you! 
and used his powers to save the world on a regular basis, all while trying to be a normal teen. Danny was voiced by David Kaufman. David has appeared on screen in several guest roles in shows like The Mentalist. He's also voiced Stuart Little in the short animated series. Way back in the early 90s, he was the voice of Marty McFly on a short-lived animated version of Back to the Future. He is reprising his role as Danny Phantom in the upcoming nostalgia show, Nicktoons. Whoa, you have no pants. The Loud House introduced a lot of great characters, including Bobby and Ronnie Ann. These two characters are now on a spin-off show about their own big family. They move to the big city and meet their extended family, the Casagrandes. The Casagrandes is all about life in a large Latin family. Uh, okay. I gotta find out who did this. Ronnie Ann is played by 16-year-old Isabella Alvarez. Isabella appeared on a few episodes of Shameless in 2014. She also played Lawrence's daughter on HBO's hit series Westworld. Bobby is voiced by Carlos Penavega. The 30-year-old got his start with Nickelodeon on two episodes of Ned's Declassified back in 2004. He has two movies in the works right now. And, and this scene was super fun. Uh, they had real fireworks. Hey Arnold was one of Nickelodeon's most popular series. It aired from 1996 until 2004. The show followed a fourth grader named Arnold and all of his friends through life in the projects of a big city. Arnold actually had three different voice actors, and their time on the show overlapped. Lane Torrin voiced the most episodes as Arnold. You might also know him as King Bob from Disney's Recess. Then came Spencer Klein. He hasn't done any acting since the show ended. There's also Philip Van Dyke. He played Luke in the first Halloween Town movie on Disney Channel. Maybe I can show you around sometime. Buy you an ice cream. In 1991, Nickelodeon premiered their first ever animated series. Doug was one of the first along with Rugrats and Ren and Stimpy. Doug was all about a boy named Doug Funny as he tried to navigate life in middle school. Um, two please. Thank you. He had friends like Skeeter Valentine and Patty Mayonnaise, and he wrote in his diary about his life. Doug was eventually brought back by Disney and continued until 1999. On Nick, Doug was voiced by Billy West. Billy also voiced both Ren and Stimpy. He is slated to reprise his roles in the new Ren and Stimpy, It's Our House Now video short. When Doug moved to Disney, the actor was replaced by Thomas McHugh. And that's a wrap. So who is your favorite Nickelodeon cartoon character of all time? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching The Things. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe. See you next time.